presenters. So first of all, I would like to introduce myself as Dr. S. Mohammed Ismail, Professor and Coordinator, Department of Library and Information Science Wing, Director of Distance Education, Anamala University. So first of all, I would like to share something about what is Library Science courses, what are the courses university offering to you, will be discussed uh, that papers, what are the courses here, what are the program offered by our Anamala University in distance education mode, we will discuss one by one. First, MLISE, I mean that a um, uh, Master of Library Information Science, MLIP Information Science one year program. The one year programs are divided into two semester, the first semester or semester including the paper, information processing retrieval, the second one is the communication and the information system, the third paper is library information system and the management, the fourth one is research methodology. During the second semester, that means that is the event semester, the fifth paper is application of computer to information storage and retrieval, the, uh, that is sixth paper is selective academic library system, then seventh one is bibliometrics and the last one is information processing and retrieval written practical. Then BLIP information science one year program. The same way the BLIP information science also divided into two semester. In the first semester library and society, library management, library classification theory, information sources. These four, the four papers covered by the first semester. In the seventh semester, I mean that is a event semester, library catalog theory, library catalog return practical, library classification return practical, information service and system. The last one is introduction to computer. Now, uh, um, as a coordinator, we will discuss now the course to library management paper in the BLIP information science. First of all, we have to go through the syllabus. What are the content in the library management course? So the first unit which covers the library management aspects related to theories. So the first one is the definition, the second one is theories of management, then functions of management that is including the postcard, then fourth one is scientific management, fifth one is system the subsystem. In the subsystem or the subsystem divided into a number of sections management. Among these, the first one is the acquisition section, technical section, maintenance section, circulation section, reference section, and the periodical section. Then the second unit, organizational pattern. So in the organization pattern, centralization, decentralization, that is uh, what is the benefit and the, what is the merits, what is the demerits uh, when we are uh, implement the centralization processing, centralization cataloging and uh, what is the demerits of decentralization, what is the benefit for decentralization among the libraries. So it will be in the 12th, then 13th the functional and the divisional organization pattern. Then unit 3 is personal management that is human, res human resource management which covers selection, recruitment, training, placement, standard, job analysis and also the Ranganathan staff formula. Then in the fifth unit, it is in, it is belongs to financial management that is in financial and the, uh, budgeting. In the budgeting, what are the different types of budgeting uh, and the, how to prepare a budget. In the types of budgeting, budgeting the line budget, performance based budget, then zero based budget. Then last one is the sixth unit, library building. The library building uh, covers principle of planning, library building, library furniture and equipment. Now we have to uh, discuss the acquisition section of the unit that is the first uh, uh, foremost uh, sections of any one library. Acquisition means acquiring the documents. So how to ac um, access the document from the 
various sources that will be discussed in the acquisition sections. So, acquisition means not nothing but the purchasing department. It is a important department because all the works of the library depends upon the acquisition section because the main function, main uh, uh, and the main and the first section in the library is the acquisition section. Based on the acquisition, because the material, material and the services are the main motto of the library. So, we have to collect, we have to strengthen the material depending upon the user need. So, it will be discussed in the acquisition section. So, introduction, acquisition means or acquisition or the work, uh, work of work of procuring reading material. That means, acquisition means nothing but the work of procuring reading material. That means, purchasing for a library is the most important step in any library. The functions, uh, the acquisition section consists of the following steps. So, what are the steps? What are the works undertaken by the acquisition section? That will be discussed in the letter here. The first one is the formulating a book selection policy, selecting reading material or books, uh, placing order for the supply of books to be purchased, then receiving of the book in the library, then accessing them. The last one is pausing the bill for payment for the books purchased. Now, the book selection policy. So, what is the book selection policy? Book selection policy is nothing but is a guidelines. It is a guidelines how to procure the book, how to select the book, what is the criteria we have to follow at the time of purchasing books for the library. Because depending upon the sources of the library, the entire services of the library is based on only the book selection. So, the books we have to frame, we have to formulate a good selection policy. So, each library should formulate a policy for guiding the librarian in selecting reading material. This policy known as book selection policy, it should reflect the objectives of the, objectives of the library in general. Yes, the, object, the book selection policy is different from one library to another library because, so if it is a small library, uh, for example, there is a school library or a public library means, so depending upon the user, we are the, for example, the public library, heterogeneous users. Heterogeneous users means different types of users, but in case of research library, homogeneous, we call as a homogeneous user. Homogeneous means, so the same type of users, that means they need the same material, the same research oriented material. But in case of public library, they are from different background. So, for example, the engineer may come in the library, the uh, research scholar comes in, uh, comes in the library, students comes in the library, retired staff may be comes in the library, different from different professional. So, depending upon the need, we have to strengthen, we have to select the material for public library. So, uh, uh, but in the case of uh, our uh, research library or uh, university research oriented library, that we, uh, that uh, uh, book selection policy is different from the public library because it is based on the needs of clients. That is very important. So, needs of client, the size of library, and the availability of the fund. So, the book selection policy based on needs of clients, the size of the library, and the availability of the fund. So, the next one is the book selection sources. So, what are the book selections? Sir, right, okay, we are, we are the librarian, we have to select the sources, we have, to, we, are, we, we have to select the material, reading material for the library. How to select the material? In what way? Because we do not know, we are not expert in the, all the subject. Librarian, he may be a background of the arts or science. Uh, Sometimes, he may be uh, appointed as a librarian for uh, engineering college or maybe in the research library of one uh, subject. So, how to know what are the material available in the market? How to know? The librarian should know by means of various sources. That sources is classified into two types. One is the human source, another one is a documentary source. So, human source means personal source. So, what they, when we say that is a subject experts, department heads, research scholar, library users, librarian are the main human sources. Then second one is the documentary sources. Documentary sources mean it, it will be available in the printed forms. So, for example, in the trade bibliographies, subject bibliographies, national bibliographies, union bibliographies, union catalog, sorry, universal bibliographies. These are all the examples for documentary sources. So, at the time of selecting the material for the library, we have to consult. The librarian should consult both sources, human sources, documentary sources. We have to give the preference 
uh, to both sources, human sources and to dark body sources, because some sources, some uh, um, that is uh, 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 the details about the document may, may be uh, made available from the human sources, some may be in the document sources. So, we have to concentrate both human and document sources. So, then uh, book selection procedure. So, what is the book selection procedure we have to follow at the time of collecting the lib, uh, reading material in the library? A library may add its collection, reading material to its collection through the uh, purchase gift exchange. So, how to strengthen the material? So, it is accumulation section. First, you have to know why we call this a uh, accumulation section instead of purchasing section. That means, so we are not to uh, uh, strengthen our material, library material only purchasing mode, purchasing, gift and exchange. There are three modes. So, one is uh, that is the purchase, gift and exchange. So, we will discuss one, one by one. So, purchasing of reading material. So, what is the purchasing of reading material? Purchasing, we are paying the amount, money, then we procure the material. That is we call as a purchasing of reading material. It may be further divided into four types. One is the directly from the publisher, then through the publisher agent or bookseller, then third one is on approval basis, then fourth one is uh, through standing vendor. Now, what is the directly directly from the publisher means we can purchase the material for example, the books are uh, uh, for example, the textbooks for the engineering students or in the art students or whatever it is. So, we can uh, purchase the reading material directly from the publishers directly from the publisher available through available in uh, Chennai or Delhi. So, we are uh, submitting our intent directly to the publisher. They can get, the, we can get the material from the uh, publisher itself directly for, for, to the library. That is called as a directly from the publisher. But at the time, what is the merits and the demerits of the uh, first things uh, that is a uh, first method means. So, suppose if we are purchasing the uh, books from directly from the publisher means, so, um, we can purchase exact material. So, because we are dealing only the publisher and the librarian. So, we can discuss what are the thing, what are the uh, material available, what are the books available, what is the cost, such things we can discuss among the, uh, the publisher. And at the same time, it has some uh, demerits also. Suppose, we are purchasing books from the, the uh, publisher directly means, we will get only the less percentage of discount. Because uh, we, uh, we, are, uh, we are not uh, dealing as a trade. So, we can, the publisher uh, provides only uh, 5 to 10 percent of discounts for every book. So, that is the demerits of the uh, uh, first one. Then, second one is through the publisher agent or bookseller means we can instead of uh, purchasing books from the publisher, we can uh, purchase the books through the publisher uh, agent sorry, publisher, agent and bookseller. So, they are that they are doing a, as a business publisher agent. So, instead of uh, um, that is collecting the that is purchasing books uh, directly, we can contact the publisher agent or bookseller. So, in, in, in that case, we, uh, we can get more benefit, but because the, um, the book publisher giving more percentage discount for the publisher agent. For example, they can give 25 percent or even 20 percent discount for the uh, publisher agent, publisher agent. So, within the, uh, uh, that is a 25 percentage discount, the publisher agent may given 10 to 15 percent discount to me, uh, to our, uh, to our library or library, library to, to ours. So, it will be benefit uh, for us to purchase uh, books from publisher, agent or bookseller. And also one thing is we can di directly send to the intent to the publisher agent, he take the responsibility to send the material to the librarian. We are, do not bother about um, uh, whether the books are um, received or not. Uh, that means that is a type of workload. So, workload is very low when we compare to the first one. Then third one is done on on approval basis. So, on, what is on approval basis means um, instead of um, uh, giving uh, uh, different intent to different publisher agent or publisher, we can appoint, um, we can um, um, uh, we, we can conduct a um, uh, exhibition, book fair, 
book fair in, in our library. So, for example, if it is a big library, Annamalai University Library is a big library, right? Here we have uh, once in a year we conduct a book fair or book exhibition. So, at the time of book exhibition, we have to send a um, matter to the various publishers. So, in this in these times we are conducting a book exhibition. We come and uh, display your books. So, the users can, our, our library or the library users, the teaching staff maybe um, go through your books and we can give the um, suggestion and also uh, they can procure the material, they can procure the uh, selecting the books for uh, that particular subject. So, the, uh, so, in this way, we are conducting a exhibition or we are conducting the book fair. At the time of we are uh, selecting the books, it will have the more benefit compared to the previous one, uh, previous one two. What is this means? Um, in the uh, previous two, we are uh, getting the material, uh, we are selecting the material by means of go through in the intent page, that means the content page and the title, the, uh, only this, uh, these things we, uh, we have to, we can refer. But in the on approval basis, so on approval basis means, so uh, on the spot, the readers, the story, the reader in the sense the teaching staff or in the users go through the books and even you go through the every chapter, how much it is covered the read, uh, that is the syllabus. So, we can select the exact book, so exact book uh, uh, need for uh, that is similar that is uh, matching the syllabus of the uh, students, uh, that is the syllabus of the course. So, it is very um, uh, uh, that is um, important and as well as benefited uh, method for uh, purchasing of reading material. Then last one is a through standing vendor. What is a through standing vendor means instead of giving the uh, um, intent for different agent, so we can appoint one or two vendor permanently, we call it that is a standing vendor. So, we can send us, for example, uh, one publisher may be a, um, may be a expert or having only the science uh, books, one may be in the arts books, one may be in the engineering. So, we are, suppose we are uh, purchasing books from the uh, uh, books from the publisher or publisher agent, we have to prepare different intent. For example, it may be a 10 intent paper under 10 different publisher, 10 different agent then we can get it. So, it will uh, it will um, make a uh, workload in the library. So, but in case of uh, in the through standing vendor, we can prepare a only one intent or two intent that intent to send to the standing vendor, they can take the responsibility to receive, to access, to purchase the books and then submit here to the library. So, through standing vendor also a better uh, method compared to the yellow ones except on approval basis. Then acquisition through gift. So, that is then first one is the uh, purchasing, then, uh, then next one is the acquisition through gift, uh, through gift, gift means. So, uh, uh, first one is the, the purchasing method, second one is the, that is the gift, gift, gift means some non-commercial institution uh, offer their publication as a gift to the libraries. Some government publication can be obtained free of cost. For example, British Council Library, United States Information Service and other foreign embassies also send some books in free of cost for the, for the uh, libraries, uh, for example, the uh, university libraries or big libraries, uh, Kanumara public library, they are sending some number of copies. So, it is called as a acquisition through gift. Then third one is acquisition through exchange, exchange. So, Another way of expanding collection is to launch an exchange program through which the librarian can exchange his spare duplicate copies with another library participating in this program by mutual agreement. That means we have, so for example, Annamal University, we have here we have the publication division. We are also our research, our teaching of staff also published number of books through our uh, university. So, we have number of copies. So, in the same way Madras University or Madhuri Kamaraj University or Bharat University also having the same publication divisions and they are uh, pub publishing number of books. So, now we can now we can exchange our books. For example, I can we can send 10 books or 20 books which are published in our library, sorry, which are published in our university. That books we, we can send to the um, 
Madras University Library or uh, Bharat University Library or uh, Madhuri Kamraj University. In the same way, they can also send the publication what you, uh, what they have. That can be sent to the our university library, our university. That is called as uh, acquisition through exchange. Right. Okay. So now we discuss what are the routines, what are the uh, works in the book selection routine. The first one is acquiring the book selection tools, sources, or arranging them in a helpful order for quick consultation for the first step. Uh, that means the acquiring book selection tools. What is the book selection tools already? Book selection tools is um, uh, what are the books available in the market that can be uh, um, uh, that, uh, that detail we have to collect first that is called as a book selection tools. That book selection tools is we have uh, the bibliographies, number of bibliographies on the library publisher catalog is the book selection tools. From the book selection tools or sources <coughs> we have uh, arranged in up to date uh, order that is uh, uh, in the sequence um, uh, recent collection we have to file it and uh, outdated maybe. Uh, should be removed one removed removed then the sign on is book selected cards for the all book selection uh, book select, uh, books selected should be prepared so now after acquiring uh, the book selection tool the uh, the book selection card should be prepared by the acquisition section in the book selection card whatever we received uh, whatever we go through the book selection tools that is a bibliography that should be uh, entered in the book selection card. For example, in the uh, physics uh, um, physics subject, what are the books are published uh, in the um, a particular uh, um, publisher or uh, in different publishers. So, we have to uh, get the title and other things, title of the books, author of the books, the um, publisher, uh, public, uh, publisher detail, it should be entered in the one card. That card we call as a book selection card. All the things we should be entered in the, in uh, that means the, all the bibliographic detail should be entered in the card. These cards should be kept arranged in a helpful order subject wise or department wise. Then next one is that these book, this uh, selection card, that is a book selection card may be periodically forwarded to the book subject experts or the sub head of the department for their recommendation, right? Again, how we can select it? We are entering, just entering the details. What is the books available in the market? That should be entered in the book selection card. The, but the selection, who selected, who selecting the books? Who is responsible? The subject expert. So, for, so after uh, entering the, after uh, for, that is uh, preparing the book selection card, the book selection card which, uh, should be sent to the uh, department, the department head for the purpose of recommendation. So, we are sending the 20 books in the um, atomic energy means in the atomic energy specialist, the subject uh, heads and the, 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 the head of the department, they make a one meeting and they can select. So, what are the books they, we can select? Because based on their heads availability of fund, fund how much is allotted? for the particular uh, department head. So, among the head, how much we can select, um, how many books, how many books we can select, that is, that is uh, um, suggested by the head of the department. So, subject expert uh, on the head of the department, the teaching staff is a yes, sub, uh, subject expert, they are the responsible for selecting the books for their particular subject. As soon as these cards are said, right, okay, they are selected, then they, yeah, as soon as these cards received back as a list of book recommended is prepared. Uh, this may be termed as a in then of four books. So, after preparing the, uh, so recommending the list of books, it may be prepared as a in then. That is called as a um, um, the, these cards as a books are not recommended, it should be kept in separately. So, so for example, we are sending the 20 books in a particular subject, particular uh, uh, subdivisions means uh, among these they are uh, preferred, they are selected only 10 means that that card should be kept in separately, unrecommended card uh, should be kept in here separately. This indent is checked with the, the next work is the indent should be checked with the catalog to see whether these books are already in the library. Such items are deleted from the internet, right? Now we can, so for example, they don't know whether the book is available in the library or not, the subject as well. So our duty is, the library duty is to go and to verify 
in the uh, with the catalog uh, that is um, catalog uh, cards so whether the book is already available in the library or not whether it is already available the cards should be the, the, uh, separated so those books are not, not available in the library that should be recommended as a list then the intent is forwarded to the concerned sanctioning authority with the note indicating the total cost intent and the balance available under head as soon as the necessary sanction obtained from the intent the orders uh, orders are placed with the up, uh, approved vendor uh, in, at this stage the book selection card is treated as a book order card the book selection card now treated as a book order card on the uh, on the receipt of the books they are checked for correctness of the title price etc against the bill then the title of the book are entered in the accession register right after receipt of the book right okay we send them uh, intent to the publisher then when uh, after uh, purchasing that is uh, uh, purchasing the books are received from <coughs> received from the publisher then we have to check on uh, the receipt of the books or the checked with the correctness of the title so whether we are they are sending the correct title of the books or the correct author the author the price because so sometimes the uh, title is the same the author is different the title is the same the author is different uh, at the same sometimes the author is the same the title is different the price sometimes maybe we can uh, quote only the uh, rapper binding books they are sending bounded books the it may be cost is very uh, very uh, so uh, we, here we have to check whether the uh, prescribed with whether we uh, and, uh, that is uh, what we uh, send as per uh, sending the um, intent the same books received in our library same book is sent by the um, publisher we have to check then the title of books are entered in the accession register after checking then the accession uh, the um, title title are entered in the accession register the accession register is maintained by the accusation section so it is a, um, a ledger a, a, a big ledger the accession register in the accession register we have to write the title of the book author of the book the amount of the book where we purchased that is a mode of purchasing through the vendor or a publisher so when it is received what is the cost everything we should be entered in the accession register accession register so then in the right left side of the accession register we put a serial number that number is nothing but the accession number for the particular book the accession number of the book is also entered in the upper place of the order book order card which now becomes a accession card right now that is the card is book selection card is called as a accession card the accession number also entered in all the copies of the bill concerned and the bill is certified and signed by the librarian then the bill passed for the payment to the concerned authority then the total amount of each bill with the number and the date are entered under the relevant head and the finance register uh, uh, finance register uh, under the balance under each head is noted the books accession are forwarded to processing a technical section with accession along with the accession card for classing and cataloging so after finishing the works in the accession section the books what we purchased what we accession that books and the card should be sent to the technical section for classification work and the cataloging work so that is the works of accession sections so now we discuss so that the uh, simple uh, uh, something about the periodical section periodical section. the next one is the important section is the periodical sections so the in periodical what is the periodical means the periodical section means um, uh, 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 that is the maintenance of periodicals maintenance of periodical collecting and the processing and the maintenance of periodical uh, is the main work of periodical sections so the periodical is very very important sources in research library and university research oriented university libraries so the information contained in the periodical is almost invariably more up to date than that appearing in books that is very important so what is the uh, difference between the books and the periodical means the periodic all the periodical so more or less more than uh, 70% of the material available in the periodical section it is a primary sources of information but in the books are the secondary sources of information that is the very uh, uh, that is the difference between the 
periodical material, periodical collection and the books. The, the periodical section means the periodical, so periodical means the material available in the library, it is, uh, it is, uh, it is a publication issued a publication periodically that is the available according to the ALA glossary, the library term defines the periodical as a publication issued in successive part usually at regular interval and as a rule intended to be continued indefinitely, indefinitely. It is, what is this? It, it is indefinitely, indefinitely continued when it is stopped, we do not know. So, it should be periodically issued, periodically published. So, most of the cases the serial, journal, magazine, proceeding, bulletin and then even newspapers also comes into the periodical section material. Then what is the importance of periodical site? So, okay, periodical is very, very important. So, particularly for the research libraries and the university libraries and the uh, higher education institution library, right, in the r and institution library, in the uh, companies libraries, commercial libraries. So, these are these, uh, uh, there, the periodic is very, very important sources. So, why, what is the importance? So, one is due to speed of printing. So, that is the one of the main factor. What is the main factor? Due to the speed of printing, it reaches the research scholar and the suggest very, very quickly, but com then compared to the books. Then, because it is speed of printing, for, for example, to publish a book, it will take 6 months or even sometime it may be a year, but in case of periodical, it may be published a month, monthly publication, a fortnightly publication, once in a 15 days, weekly publication, even uh, sometime it is a, what I say, that is a daily publication. So, it is a speed of printing. So, only the current information reaches to the subject specialist, is a scholar. So, speed of printing is uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, merit of uh, periodical. Then, second one is it is a quick tool for dissemination of information. Dissemination of information. Dissemination means distribution. So, quick tool. It is a quick tool to communicate among the uh, scientists. Then, third one is contain ancient and the latest things only about the recent research. Then third, fourth one is outcome of multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary findings is the expression for the first journal article. So, multidisciplinary research, interdisciplinary research, publication, communicated through the journal article. Then last one is the periodic article is the main means of communication of exchange of scientific information. Then categories of periodical. In the category of periodical, we can classify it into according to the Dennis Grohan, it is categorized under five. One is the periodical published by learned societies and the academic bodies, say for example, uh, Journal of Arab, uh, Aeronautical Engineering, like that. Then second is periodical published by government that it is subordinate, subordinate body. For example, plant pathology published by Ministry of Agriculture, Government of USA or Gramin Vikas published by Indian Government, uh, Ministry of uh, Rural Development. Then third one is periodical published by independent research institution, library science and excellent documentation published by Sardar Ranganath Endowment for Library Science, DRTC, Bangalore. These are an example for periodical published by independent research institute. Then fourth one is periodical published by professional bodies, professional bodies, plastic and polymer published by plastic and rubber industries. Then periodical published by commercial publisher, commercial publisher, various commercial publisher, learned this and research periodical, technical journals, trade journals, these are the example for uh, periodical published by com commercial publisher. Then sources of periodical selection. So, what is the sources like? So, in the book selection, we are preparing some bibliography. In the same way, what are the sources? <coughs> Among the sources, we here they are listed the five important sources, Old Age International Periodical Directory, Reader's Guide to Periodical Literature, Bulletin of the Public Affairs Information Service, Nifal Guide to Indian Periodical, Guide to Indian Periodical Literature. These are all the examples for sources of periodical selection. Then principle of periodical selection, what is the importance? What is the importance for the periodical selection? So, it is the most important, so due to the financial constraint, then duplication copies of arrived in the library. So, these are the things as a principle, we have to consider, we have to uh, look after for up the time of uh, procuring or subscribing the periodical. 
then one the next one is a problem in acquisition of periodical so it is very very important at the time of periodical uh, substitution number of problems are arisen one is the dep uh, dependence of foreign periodical so if it is if we are uh, depends on the foreign periodical we have to get uh, the uh, um, some prop we are pro uh, facing number of problems then one, one is the inadequate grant rising the period um, price of the periodical for is a foreign exchange problem that is one of the problem then added interference then advanced payments so, so what is advanced payment means we have for, uh, um, uh, book purchase that is a difference between the book purchasing and the periodical substitution book purchasing after purchasing the book we can send the, we can pay the amount for the books but in case of periodical we have to pay the advance in first then we can subscribe them to periodical journals so that is very uh, very um, dangerous one that means very difficult because advance payment we are ad we are sending the amount in advance that uh, and after that we can get the periodical sometimes due, due to the advance when the library is answerable what is this so in uh, the we are uh, send them uh, payment we are sent already sent the payment but we are not received the, um, uh, that is sub, uh, periodical journals so it will be due some uh, create some problem in the uh, audit audit so it, uh, that is the advance payment and third one is double payment at the same time we are getting yes, due to the oversight and the lack of vigilance we are sending double payment for the same uh, periodical for the same uh, publisher that will be create the problem it is called as a double payment so then unorganized periodical trade that means we are sending the periodical list to the uh, pub, uh, that is agent uh, publisher agent or uh, uh, on the vendors but the publisher send the material uh, that is journal to library itself so directly to the librarian or libraries so uh, that will be create some problem that is we, uh, so there should be a, a, a tight uh, that means um, uh, good relationship between we have to maintain the good relation between uh, the periodical publisher uh, and also that is a agent and also the library so it will create some on uh, problem so it is called as an unorganized periodical trade then next one is rise in the cost of periodical it is fact that most of the periodical so once in a year the cost of the periodical is doubled every every two years every two years the cost of the periodical doubled so it is create the problem because uh, most <coughs> due to inadequate uh, due, due to the inadequate fund or in the same fund they are uh, allotted every year by the authorities it will create the problem then third one is uh, sorry sixth one is ordering periodical on basis of the comparative quotation so we are getting the quotation from different uh, suppliers so we, we are uh, we, uh, we are sending the uh, quotation to who is uh, less quoted so but in the case uh, you are, um, uh, they are getting the uh, order but they are unable to um, send the material because of uh, uh, fluctuation uh, rate fluctuation it is also create the problem then uh, seventh one is lack of proper bibliographical resources of periodical so uh, sometimes we don't have any uh, that is a uh, bibliographical resources old age international periodical directory is a best source but it is available in the nowadays available in the online but in olden days that is in only in the printed copy it is cost is more than uh, uh, lakhs so it is difficult to purchase all the library it is also lack of prop, uh, proper bibliographical resources of the periodical then main problem also one of the uh, uh, main problem then the last one is modes of acquisition problem acquisition of periodical what are the modes so that is here also that is by subscription by gift by exchange in the acquisition by subscription so there are the different methods directly from the publisher through the foreign exchange uh, uh, through foreign uh, subscription agency by becoming the member of the societies or learned institutions through the state trading corporation through insa through indian agents these are all the uh, method then by uh, you know that what is acquisition of the uh, acquisition by gift acquisition of exchange it is uh, similar to that is a book then uh, so these are all the uh, things uh, in them uh, um, important things in the uh, periodical sections right okay thank you thank you students now uh,
will discuss uh, circuit design later on.